Hey guys, welcome to my new Photoshop tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make uh, a YouTube logo, but because of the copyright, I won't be showing you how to create a dead on uh, YouTube logo, but you can al uh, always change the colors to red and uh, a T to C, uh, a C to T because I will be showing you how to make YouCube which is a website that I'm building currently let's go ahead and create a new document choose your width and height uh, let's say 800 by 400 click OK uh, and let's go ahead and create a new layer immediately and first of all let's grab our shapes and select around the rectangle tool choose your color to black so we can see it against the white background and just oops sorry control Z to undo and we're gonna set the radius to 20 pixels and we're gonna make a rectangle uh, you don't need to make the exactly the same size or anything because we'll be uh, doing that later on next we're gonna create a, a new layer and we're gonna grab our ellipse tool I'm gonna zoom in by clicking control plus and we're gonna make an ellipse from here to here and what will that do is it will make it more rounded so let's see what we have so there's it uh, maybe we can uh, make the width a bit more something like this okay yeah that's good now selecting our shape 2 which is the ellipse we're gonna click ctrl J on our keyboard to duplicate the layer and we're gonna drag it to the other side position it and there you have it so that is it now we're gonna merge this layer and we're gonna do it by clicking on our shape 1 which is our rounded rectangle and then click shift and then click our shape 2 copy and right click rasterize layers again right click merge layers now it merged our layer so it's only one shape now we're gonna enter the shape we're gonna enter the blending options so tick the gradient overlay and YouTube logo has three colors uh, the, the bottom color is a darker red uh, the middle uh, red is the lightest and the uh, third color is uh, red somewhere between the other colors so l let me show you how it would look create a new color by clicking uh, uh, under the gradient and choose some colors like this so it would look something like this yeah you can tweak it to your liking and change the colors so it has three colors but I'm going to choose blue for my colors first one is darker then lighter and then so so
yeah let's say it's good next we're gonna create the shine this shine and we're going to do, we're going to do that by first of all clicking uh, to create a new layer then click control on your keyboard and click on our layer with our shape which is select our shape only and next we're going to grab our gradient uh, first of all uh, it's a linear gradient and next select the second option and choose uh, both white colors like so so they're both both white and we're gonna drag from uh, th this corner uh, click shift and drag it somewhere right here and then let go shift of shift and drag your mouse a bit like this so this should create something like this then we can go ahead and click control D zoom out we made it too big but it doesn't matter really because we're gonna shrink it something like this control apply it and then position it somewhere right about here and then set the opacity to your liking until it's good so now we can create a new layer grab our text tool and now uh, you're going to need to get uh, YouTube's text which is alternate gothic to BT it's pretty similar to the YouTube text and there will be a download link in the description so you can download it for free of course uh, and now type in first of all you and then you can uh, duplicate this layer control G and make it tube but in this case cube control T uh, no first of all uh, select both the layers uh, by using the shift technique that I used earlier first click on U then click sh uh, shift on your keyboard and then click cube we should select both of them and then click control T to enlarge them and make them look something like this click OK then grab your U and position it right here next we're gonna add some uh, blending options to our U which is a gradient the bottom color will, will be st will stay at black and the upper color would be a dark gray click OK and for our cube we need to change the whole color color to be white select it with the text tool and then here in the options you will have uh, your color choose and choose white now again we're gonna enter blending options of our cube layer and we're gonna tick inner shadow we're gonna set the angle to 90 degrees we're gonna set uh, we're not going to touch the opacity immediately but distance to say 4 and size to 4 you can always tweak this so they look better and you can tweak the uh, opacity and everything else and click OK so this is the basic technique of making the YouTube logo now you can always spend more time uh, than I did in this tutorial doing it tweaking the inner shadow tweaking the colors the shine and everything else to make it lo look more better so thanks for watching this tutorial hope it was helpful hope you, you enjoyed don't forget to comment like and subscribe until next time